We're going back to basics with chicken broth. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Chicken broth is one of the easiest things that you can prepare in your kitchen, but it can add so much flavor to so many dishes. You can braise vegetables in it, you can use it for soups and stews or sauces. The opportunities here are endless. It's a great way of using the entire chicken after you've made a roast dinner, and any leftover vegetables too. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. I've preheated my oven to 250 degrees Celsius or 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This step is optional, but roasting your chicken bones will give a much deeper flavor to your broth. Into a roasting pan goes the carcass of your chicken. You'll want to pick off as much meat as possible and make sure you're using all of those bones. This is going to go into a very hot oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just until those bones start to caramelize. This is the caramelization you're looking for. That's going to add so much flavor. Into our stock pot goes the roasted carcass, a stalk of celery, two whole carrots, a whole head of garlic, and half an onion, and two bay leaves as well. Fill your pot with fresh water, fully submerging all of your ingredients. We'll add in a few pinches of salt just to bring out some of those flavors. Turn your stove to medium, medium high. Put your lid on just slightly ajar. You want your broth to come up to a simmer. We don't want it to be at a full roll and boil. And once it's simmered, we'll turn it down slightly so that it just stays at that level and starts to reduce and get all of those flavors in it. You'll want to cook this for a minimum of three hours, but you can even cook it overnight for even more flavor. If you notice any foam or bubbles on the top, just continue to scrape them off so that you have a nice clear broth. Once your stock has reduced and all of your flavors have come out of the carcass and the vegetable, strain it through a fine mesh sieve. Now you'll want to give it a taste and season accordingly. That tastes amazing, but because we only put a pinch of salt in earlier, we need to season it to make those flavors really come to life. The reason we only slightly salted it earlier is because we're cooking it down, that salty flavor would intensify. We want to make sure the salt is balanced right at the end of the cooking process. All that's left is to let it cool and put it away for storage. The best way to store this is in a sealed container in the fridge for one week, or you can freeze it flat in a food safe zipped bag. I like to freeze it on a baking sheet, that way I know it's nice and flat and there's lots of room in my freezer. You can keep them in the freezer for up to three months. Perfect for when you have a little sniffle or a cold and you just want that warm hug in a mug of soup. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.